Hi, Kevin. How are you? Michael Corbin here. So good. How's it going? Yeah, very good. Thanks. Listen, um, can I just ask you just about uh, trying to train and operate and mix and leave or lead some kind of a normal life within the COVID environment and, and rugby and everything at the moment? Like there were, you know, a few cases last week and a few cases this week. And um, just as a player, I mean, how conscious are you of the fact that you have to be almost like ultra careful if you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit strange. Um, kind of trying to compartmentalize a little bit and leave the worry to the medics and focus with preparing for the Friday game. Obviously, European rugby is the pinnacle of club rugby, so we're all pretty excited for the game still and prepping as if it's gone ahead and hoping it will. Um, so yeah, we had a good training session today, a bit of a hybrid between a Monday and a Tuesday. Um, but yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. And listen, just after the, the match against Bath at the weekend, 45 points to 20, uh, you did really well in the opening half in terms of you know, the, the score that you, that you racked up. But when the ref blew the full-time whistle, there was almost like a feeling that there was a, like a degree of disappointment there, if you understand what I mean, mm -hmm. that you didn't carry through uh, the first half performance all the way through the second half. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we're still looking for that 80-minute complete performance and um, probably a work on for us is even when the scoreline is quite heavily in our favour, being ruthless enough to keep going and keep getting more scores and more scores. Um, so I think that's why there's a bit of disappointment. We sort of fell off a little bit. Uh, we were maybe a little bit flat throughout the game, really, um, and sort of lacked a bit of flow, going off, uh, doing, doing individual things a little bit and making errors at times, forcing things, rather than sticking to our systems. So yeah, we became a little bit unstuck there. And then, as you mentioned, the last 20 as well, they won 7-0, so that was disappointing finishing like that too. But at the same time, delighted to get the full five points and a home win in Europe is always good too. Thanks, Kenan. Have a good week. Thank Thanks you. Good. Cheers. Hi, Kenan. How are you doing? How's it going? Um, to come back to the doom and gloom of COVID, unfortunately, um, I might just, like, what's it like as a, as a player when you're coming in, you're trying to prepare for a big game at the weekend, and is there part of you in the back of your head that's going... God, I hope I don't get pulled aside and get told it's me today. You know, that's that's tested positive. How do you, how do you kind of factor that out and try just focus on the game at hand? Um, yeah, well, like I mentioned there, the excitement around Europe. Uh, you want to prep as best you can, and you're hoping the game's going to go ahead, go ahead. So you don't want to be thinking about whether you're positive or negative. We're doing so many tests that it's obviously the situation is still quite dynamic and it's still unfolding. Um, but yeah, you're prepping as if it's gone ahead and as if you're playing and involved. And then on the opponents this Friday in Montpellier, you obviously had a good win away to them pretty much 12 months ago to the day nearly actually. Uh, what do you remember from that game? What have you seen from them since? How, like, how, did they kind of, how did they compare to the Montpellier team you beat last year? Yeah, um, still very physical. I think that's a big part of their DNA. Um, they were probably, they're quite pragmatic in kicking the ball in their own half and playing territory quite a bit and using their pack to beat you up a little bit. But they probably added another layer in terms of playing with width a little bit more, maybe playing from a bit deeper. Um, their fitness seems to have improved. They've added guys like Zach Mercer, who's a quality back row. Um, he adds a bit more sort of, he's got a pretty varied skill set and good hands and is a pretty key man for them. Um, so yeah, they've definitely got threats throughout. Cheers, Kellen. Good luck on Friday evening. Thank you.